back is trying chicken livers for the first time. Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel a chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced So no one else can do That's why I my life with you I wanna please you any way I can I wanna share my world, don't you understand? Today is the 27th of March and I turned 30 on the 24th of March. If you watched my vi previous video, you'll know that I was preparing for the third floor and I have officially arrived. I was nervous about it at first, but now I'm more excited for the new decade that I have just stepped into. Um, yeah, I'm just excited for everything that the Lord has in store for me for this um, third decade. And to be honest, I think it's going to be a beautiful journey and I'm just excited for it. And I'm happy that once upon a time, I decided to start a YouTube channel and you guys will be with me on this whole entire journey. So... I decided to use natural lighting because we have a lot of sun coming in today but I feel like it keeps on moving and there's going to be these lines from my window. I hope they don't irritate you guys. Anywho, I wanted to show you guys my background as well. Zach decorated um, the Friday before my birthday, he put this older, wiser, hotter by our balcony um, sliding door. I thought it was so cute because it's not like Zach to decorate at all. Sana, all I'm doing is rambling. Did I even greet you guys? Did I welcome you guys to the channel? I don't even know. But welcome to this channel, guys. My name is Sangiwa Jensen. I'm originally from South Africa, Queenstown slash Port Elizabeth and i am based in the usa i know that there's a lot of new people that recently joined this channel i just wanted to welcome you guys to the family i hope you fall in love with me and become part of this family um please introduce yourself in the comment section let me know where you're watching me from and how you came across my channel i'm so happy to have you guys with me and to my regular subscribers, my day ones, thank you so much for continuing to watch and support this channel. So this video is uh, my birthday vlog and everything that I did to celebrate my birthday. So everything started on Friday, the 22nd of March. I was initially supposed to work on the 23rd of March and the 24th of March, I was supposed to work on my birthday. But a good Samaritan helped me out and I didn't have to work anymore that weekend. So on Friday, I knew that my mother-in-law was planning a, a dinner, like a birthday dinner, which is something that she usually does on somebody's birthday. She'll, she'll like have a family dinner for them. So I knew that I had that on Friday. And to my surprise, when we got to her house, there was a whole lot of people. It was actually like a party. She decorated. The theme was um, beach, a beach vibe, beach theme. And there was like 
pictures of like the beach like a backdrop of the beach and just like decoration of the beach let me actually show you guys this um, my grandmother-in-law put this together she made this herself she's actually really good when it comes to crafts and um, stuff like this and fyi my grandmother-in-law lives in california so her and her husband were there for my birthday which was um the whole the whole thing was so beautiful i'll actually insert um a video so that you guys can see how everything went down they're here turn the lights off <laughs> should i should i do this Okay. <laughs> Where'd you going? Go first. Does it actually light? It sounded good. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, I read the directions. It's not good. No, you should have done it earlier. Now every, the pressure's on you. I Everybody's know. watching. Hurry up. Hurry up. I can't. I have to get lights. I read the directions. I see smoke. <laughs> and then last minute decision on saturday zach and i went to canada it was my first time going to canada and it's actually not far from where we live we live in oregon and vancouver we went to vancouver it's not far it's like an hour away when i realized that i wasn't working um that the weekend of my birthday i told zach that we need to go somewhere and i'm so happy it was successful we spent one night while you guys are watching the canada part i'm gonna quickly make dinner for zach because he's about to come back home from work and i just want to get dinner started and after dinner i will come back and open up the presents with you guys i'm so excited to see what i got from everyone i hope you guys enjoy seeing vancouver because we definitely enjoyed being there <laughs> So as you walk in, this is our little kitchenette, it has a microwave, coffee, what is this? What's this baby? Coffee wash? I'm the caravan, I can't Co talk. Coffee machine, coffee machine. <laughs> and then in here you have everything you'll need in the kitchen, plates, glasses, bowls, in case you want to cook and right there 
as I mentioned, cooking. There is a stove. They have a little dishwasher in there. Let's see, is there anything on this side? Oh, okay. So this side, there's a toaster and there's a kettle. I'm happy there's a kettle. You'll never find a kettle in American hotels because they don't use kettles apparently. And then we have this humongous fridge, deep freezer. This is actually a very nice room. Like you could spend a month here. And then on the right side, we have a bathroom, nice sink, nice covered space, head dryer, extra toilet paper, and then shower. I like it when they provide um, that, like the shower gel and conditioner and everything in there. I like that a lot. Okay, all done in the bathroom. Come over this way. This is our closet. They gave us two ropes. And then come over this way. And this is our bedroom. Let me turn on the lights. This is our bedroom. Um, I think it's a queen size. Got a queen size bedroom. Okay, and then over on that side is a little lounge area. And when you come on this side, you have an uh, office space area. And you can step out of the room, but it is raining and it is cold. So probably won't be stepping out. But this is a little balcony area. There you go. And that's our view. is trying chicken livers for the first time the quality sucks because the lighting is on that side okay tastes like dirt what do you mean <laughs> Look at those mountains. Just the backdrop of the mountains. I wonder what's happening that side. Is it because I know we're in downtown right now? Was it just another part of downtown? Maybe it goes around in a circle, kind of. Because even on this side, there's like tall buildings. <laughs> I'll 
took the wine gums that were free. Pretty good. I have no idea. Okay. Of course. Just two for one. Should I get four then? Okay. I'll just get, I'll just get that. Just chili bites. Um, I mean, it's not like we're gonna eat the whole thing. Or all of it. I want uh, dry wars. dark outside now we just had dinner i am back what do you guys think of vancouver i'll give you guys my honest opinion it did not feel like i left the u.s for me vancouver felt very much like i was still in america because when i go to mexico which is also very close to america you can tell that you're in a completely different country Vancouver did not give me that at all. It gave me, it gave me Oregon, Washington State vibes. As you guys saw, when I was in Canada, I found a South African store, which was for me the highlight of the whole trip. I'm gonna do an unboxing of everything I got. First things first, Bill Tom, guys. We got um, dry bitter wars with dry wars and we also got chili sticks um 
Zach has had biltong in South Africa and he really, really loves biltong. He said this didn't do it for him. He didn't enjoy it at all. For me, I mean, didn't taste like the biltong from South Africa, but it still kind of hit the spot. So I was enjoying this. And I also got stony. I got two cans of stony. I already drank the other one. And I have this one left. Okay, and then... Handy Andy! Guys, nothing beats cleaning with Handy Andy. I really love cleaning with Handy Andy and I'm so happy I found it. Um, and Chakalaka, of course. We all love Chakalaka. I actually got um, four cans of Chakalaka, but then since uh, this past weekend on Sat. Wait, when? Was it on Monday? What's the day today? Wednesday. On Monday, I made chakalaka for Zach's family. Um, we had a family dinner because, as I told you guys, his grandparents were here. And I restocked on some spices. Love, love, love Raja. Just adding to my Raja collection. And I got Robertson um, mixed herbs. And brown sugar guys yo so happy when i've got this brown sugar so the brown sugar here i don't really like it i'm going to show you guys actually so can you see how i don't know it just looks different and it also tastes different from brown sugar from here let me actually show you guys american brown sugar okay this is american brown sugar so it's very um it's very like I don't know how to describe it. It just looks like dough. Like cookie dough, if you know what I mean. Like it's all in one. It's not, I don't know. It's in like these big clumps. And also it just tastes a bit different. Most people use it for baking. Whereas um, I feel like in South Africa, can you, the South African one, can you see how it's just like normal sugar? The consistency of it is like normal sugar and people use it to substitute white sugar whereas here I think the brown sugar is mostly used for baking and then obviously I got some candy I didn't want to get a lot of candy guys because I'm, I'm gonna start my weight loss journey soon so I just wanted these I got two Easter eggs because Easter is coming and I got these as well. <sighs> these are also Easter eggs. So good. And by the way, so Easter eggs are, let me actually take a bite of one on camera so that you guys can see what I've never came across Easter eggs here in America, so it's not real eggs, guys. Oh, so hard. So it is just chocolate inside, and then it's coated with that white. Mm. Okay, and then I got my favorite slab, the biscuit flavor. That's my favorite of all time. And I got flake, love, love, love flake. I wanted lunch bar, but they didn't have lunch bar. And I got wine gums. Didn't get too much stuff. I didn't go crazy. Um, cause I still have. I still have um, South African stuff from when I went home the last time, last year. And they mostly had unhealthy stuff like candy, biscuits, no stuff like that. And I was like, 
I don't need all of that at this stage of my life. I don't need none of that. Okay, now let's open the birthday gifts. I'm gonna start with Zach's card. So, I don't have a birthday gift from Zach yet. The birthday gift is a surprise and it's gonna be on, on another video, it won't be on this video. I'm excited to show you guys Zach's gift. But for now, let's open this. I'm not sure what this is. As I told you guys, I did not open any gifts. So, your son, uh, this rain. Oh, look. That is so cute. It says blow here. Oh, <laughs> that is so cute. Oh, my gosh, that is so cute. That is so cute. Thank you, Hubby Bay. I love you so much, my dear. Love you loads. Okay. Second gift that I'm going to open, I think I'm just going to open them by sizes. Actually, let me start with this. i just put these, oh, Sherry. This is, um, Zach's brother bought me all of this. Um, yo, guys, the lighting, I am so sorry. It's so bright right here. But it's like sparkling champagne, gummy bears and champagne collection chocolates because i love champagne and then he also got me this strawberry champagne slab wow no no i think i need to um reposition the lighting okay i hope that lighting is a bit better yeah, yeah i think so like birthday cake um and i already showed you guys this one which is the strawberry champagne oh this lighting okay there strawberry champagne and then he also got me a zara gift card because my family knows I love Zara, okay? I'm obsessed with Zara actually at this point. Most of my wardrobe is Zara, guys. The other day I was just looking at my wardrobe and I was like, almost everything I wear is from Zara. Like this dress is from Zara. Who's this card from? I don't know. Like, I don't know who some of the gifts are from or the cards. Cause I just put everything all together. I don't want to open the gifts in front of everyone because I wanted to open them on camera. Okay. Um, this card is from... Oh, this card is from Grammy and Boompa. Which are Zach's... Um, Gran and Grandpa. Oh, that is so sweet. This is from... Oh, look at that. Um, Zach's Gran actually does all of this herself. She did this card herself. Yeah, that's handmade. See, it's written handmade from heart right there. Okay. And then, oh, they also gave me money. And then this gift is from my uh, Zach's other brother and his wife lol at the at the christmas gift bag <laughs> oh that is this is the um door lock 
for the hotel. Because, guys, mm -mm, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I've been having creepy incidents at my hotels. Oh, this is so cute. That is so... I like the color of that. That is so cute. So this is how I'm going to lock my bedroom door. I'm no longer going to be using hangers to lock the door. Hangers and ironing boards, Sana. Because what was that, honey? Okay, and then what is this? What is this, honey? Oh, this is the alarm. Should I try it now? No, I shouldn't try it now. So you put this under the door. So this, I'm gonna use this to lock the door. Use this to, um, as my alarm. So if somebody tries to open the door, this alarm is gonna go off. Apparently, this, this, will wake up everyone in that hotel i am not playing games if somebody tries to open my door everybody needs to wake up the receptionist needs to hear that something is going on okay happy birthday to you sangi let's see who is this from this is also thick. I have a feeling that this is from Zach's friend, Chris. But let's see. A Nostrum Rack gift card. I love Nostrum Rack. Nostrum Rack, Zara's number one, Nostrum Rack number two. This is so cute. May the Lord bring you an abundance blessings this year. Period. Period. Period, period, period. He will do that. This is also thick. I think him and Zach planned this. <laughs> oh, so cute. Look at that. card guys it is so pretty oh money 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 it's a, oh that is so sweet oh this is from um Faye's family so Faye is Zach's brother's wife this is from the family that is so sweet everybody the whole family wrote on the card. There's even Spanish. Yo, let me try and read it. Dios. Cumpleaños. Cumpleaños. Tío. Dios cumpleaños. Alexa, what does Dios cumpleaños mean? It is the feminine version of Dios in Spanish, which means God. Also, I can give you real-time notifications on Bitcoin price movements. Alexa, off. She said God. Maybe it means God bless you. Guys, what does it mean? If you guys know what this means, please let me know. Money, more money. I have so much money, guys. Yes. Okay. And then I have this big one right here. I'm not sure who this one is from. Let me actually open the card first. If I can. If I can. It says, Happy 30th, Sangi. Oh, wow. This is beautiful. 
beautiful. Look at this card, guys. Oh, lighting, please. Look at that. Can you guys see that? This is from oh, Debbie and Henry. That is uh, this is um, Zach's mom's friend. So my mother-in-law's friend. Oh, that is so sweet. It's funny how in the corner she wrote, let's go wine tasting soon. That is so sweet. I actually don't, I thought, I thought this was also from her. Spa, a sparkling rosé. I thought this is her gift. Maybe, maybe this and the box is hers. I'm not sure. I'm going to confirm from my mother-in-law. But let's open this. Oh, it's wrapped up so perfectly. I don't want to ruin it. opening this up so perfectly like I'm not gonna throw this away <gasps> what is it what is it oh crate and barrel the store but I always look at it from far because it's so expensive guys let's see what's inside oh lord jesus I don't want to break anything okay is beautiful I think this is a cheese board if I'm not mistaken I think it's a cheese board right guys is this a cheese board but I love this I feel like it matches um, some of my stuff that I have there in the kitchen like I have this, let me show you guys. I have this, which I feel like matches. I love that. So one day when I'm hosting like a party and I want to do like different kinds of cheese boards, it's going to be a theme. This is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. So, so, so pretty. Thank you so much, Debbie and Hendry. I love this. Okay. One more gift left to open. And that one is from my parents-in-law. 
Let me go get it. It's so big. Guys, this one is heavy. It's so heavy. Let me open the card first. funny so Zach's um dad his name is John and he signed he signed as Papa John Mama Mary and Papa John so cute okay let's open the gift that is <laughs> I already know what it is. I already know what it is. I already know what it is. Wow, guys. Let me put this here. I, I literally, I was, she asked me to guess what it was. And I was, I was like, I have no idea. All I knew is that it's big and heavy. I, I really didn't guess this. But I know what it is. I know what it is. Let's open it. The box is giving all the hints. You guys guess guess what this is pause the video and guess guys before before i open no cheating okay it's my birthday i'm gonna do what i like rosé and then she also got me a Prosecco so this company guys is a company that um, is called Naked Wines and she's been getting some of their wines and we've been like enjoying the wines together because they have really really good wines so yeah that's what that's all my Christmas why am I saying Christmas? That's all my birthday presents. Let me put this on the side so you guys can see me properly. <clears throat> and oh, by the way, guys, the birthday dinner, the birthday dinner on Friday, it was all planned by my mother-in-law and 
it was so nice and my grandmother-in-law and my sister-in-law all three of them set up the whole thing you guys saw that giant charcuterie board and they did all of that um before we got there like during the day thank you so much guys thank you thank you thank you thank you my in-laws you guys i am so blessed um i really do not take the blessing that i have for granted yeah god really placed me in the right family and i'm so grateful for that and um yeah guys that is it for this video thank you so much for watching this video if you watch till the end i really really appreciate it and please do not forget to like this video to comment leave a heart say happy birthday say welcome to the 30s if you're already 30 um tell me how your third floor experience was did you enjoy your 30s were you excited to be 30 um what did you achieve in your 30s I know there's a lot of pressure, especially on us women when we reach this age. Actually, I think there's a lot of pressure in both like men and women. When you reach 30s, like society expects you to have your life sorted out. You're supposed to have a house, at least one kid, um, a good career, like a stable job. But life is not like that, guys. At some point, like I was feeling, I was feeling like, oh my gosh, um, I'm in my thirties. What have I really achieved? But then I had to like take a step back and acknowledge and appreciate my life journey and everything that I have achieved this far and not take it for granted. No matter how small or how big your achievement has been, it's still an achievement. And our journeys in life are not the same. You are not in a race with anyone. So do not ever, ever, ever compare yourself to the next 30 year old that you see. Because our lives are different. Some people will achieve everything by in their 20s. Some people achieve everything in their 30s. Some people achieve everything in their 40s. Because that's just how life is. Our lives are, will never be the same. So I just want to, hi babe. So I just want to close off this video with that message that do not compare yourself to other people that are your age because our lives are different and our journeys are different. And yeah, guys, please subscribe to this channel. Please, 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 please hit that subscribe button. Tell your friends to subscribe, tell your family to subscribe, tell everybody to subscribe, your neighbors, your colleagues, everybody. <laughs> um, joking, not joking. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you guys on my next video. Bye for now.